and this, and this is, is our, our robot. robot. I'm Colson, and I'm going to talk about our delivery mechanism. When we started the houses mission, we faced the problem of how to deliver three different packages to three different mailboxes. We first started out with a Pez dispenser design, but more than one brick was dropped into the um, boxes. Next we moved on to the water wheel design, but the bricks were shaken out on the way over to the mailboxes. We moved on to our final design, the gumball machine design, with, with a hole in the floor in a revolving door which will push the bricks to the hole. All you have to do is drive to a mailbox and make the door move just a little bit so one brick could fall through at a time. Hello, my name is Ryan. I'm going to um, talk about how we improved um, our robot design. The, in our first robot design, there's no chains and our and the third motor was hanging over the side of the robot. But even the slightest movement tipped it over. So our solution was chains. We put the third motor near to the middle of the NXT robot and we and we put chains to connect the gears. So that so that the center of gravity would be near to the middle of the robot. So our robot could take sharp turns um, and still not tip over. Hi, my name is Eric and I'm going to talk about um, our flag mechanism. Um, after, after the house's mission, we noticed that one of the supports of the brick dispenser was directly aligned to the lever to raise the orange flag. And so we built a pull on the support and connected it to the motor with a clutch gear and two chains so that when you turn the motor one way the clutch gear slips because there's too much pressure on it and the pole doesn't move. But when you turn it the other way, the clutch gear doesn't slip and the pole, the pole raises the flag. Hi, I'm Kevin and I will be talking about the gas mission. For the gas mission, the robot moves these four gas tanks to the post office over there. Because the gas tanks are in a straight line on the playing field, our U-shaped attachment on the front of the robot can sweep up all four at a time. Since it has, has corners, it, they don't slip out. If it did have rounded edges, they would slide out of the attachment. And not only not we would we not get them to the post office, we would also make new obstacles for ourselves. To reach the post office without a penalty, the robot must avoid hitting all the trees and boxes and such. We program the robot to move around the obstacles using the road so it could get off the road for a tiny portion and come back. I'm Nicholas, and I'm going to talk about how our robot follows lines. It uses light sensors to help us follow the lines. It has more power on a sharp turn and less on, a so on soft turns. And sometimes when it turns, one wheel goes backwards while the other goes forwards. For a left turn, the left wheel goes backwards and the right goes forwards, and the opposite for the right. To smoothly follow the lines, it turns more when the light sensor has a big error from the middle. This is called proportional control. I'm Kara. I'm going to talk about 
how the robot knows when to turn. To do that, we programmed it to count the crossroads. To do this, we used two light sensors. The first light sensor follows the road. The second light sensor detects crossroads. If the second sensor detects darkness, that means the robot is crossing a road. We program the robot to count, then we program the robot to count the crossroads. For each particular mission, we program the robot to turn at the correct crossroad. If it was not time to turn, the robot continued moving straight ahead. For example, turn straight straight the thing I liked best about the You Got Mail project was customizing our robot. I, what I liked best about this um, Lego Robotics session was making friends and everything and our robot. I liked building the robot. I liked programming. I also liked programming. I like Steve the Mailman. He was actually part of the elite police force. He's an unordinary guy with an unordinary lifestyle. Bye. Bye. <laughs>